Hello, I'm Gex Sleek and welcome back to the video. So I have something rather special and different for you all because I have another preview at how Minecraft is going to be looking in an upcoming update. So if you're not familiar with the scoop already, basically Minecraft is having every single texture changed by a guy named Jasper who was brought in to change all the textures to kind of give Minecraft a new look. This is happening in an upcoming update. We don't know exactly which one. And today for the you know first time in quite some time, we had another uh, available texture pack to give us a full preview in game, at least for the Java edition, uh, previews to how Minecraft will be looking in the future for every single edition. Again, we don't know what update, but we do know it affects every single version of Minecraft. So this is kind of a big deal, and it's something I wanted to share with all of you so you can see how it look, and also so I could give my feedback, because honestly, a lot of I've seen a lot of these videos out there on the internet, and they always focus on individual blocks. Like, look at cobblestone, look how it looks right up close. Like, there is cobblestone, as you can see, it's very grey. But the truth is, blocks don't, you know, you don't see blocks in Minecraft usually, individually. You usually see them as part of a connection. So, for instance, glass looked really good in the last, um, you know, version of these, but it looked terrible when it was in, you know, it can combination with multiple other ones, it didn't connect very well, and that's something that I figured I could address with today's video, because I'm using QMagnet's test map again to show you all of the brand new 40 plus uh, texture changes in this update. So, hopefully you do enjoy it, you can like this video if you do like it, because it helps out the channel a lot, and let's know you do like these sorts of videos. Um, again, I know a lot of people are like, well, Toy Cat, I mean, like, textures, uh, they should stay the same, like, Minecraft has things that are kind of how they are, but the truth is, is I think texture changes can be a good thing, if they both bridge the gap between being easily spotted by people who like the current textures, so if you you just want to, you know, play Minecraft, you can play past them, but also being appreciable at the same time. And that's why I love the changes they made to things like grass, um, and that they've made to glass too, I guess, grass and glass. Because as you can see, glass is this wonderful property of being basically unnoticeable. You know, it's a transparent texture, but yet when you look through it, it looks like you're looking for a window. I really like this glass a lot better than not only the last glass, but I like it better than the glass we have in vanilla Minecraft, which is a good improvement. They managed to make something which, again, it's got that air of familiarity to it, but still somehow looks better. And I, I'm honestly not someone who's like quite technical, uh, cap technically capable enough to describe why or how that is, but it's something that I really love as I look through here. So yeah, they made a few other changes, but you won't see most of them here in the plane spine. But if you see, now that we've had the collection of all these changes together, you can see how it's like, oh yeah, by the way, the tops of the logs here, they have changed, so you can see that there. But the biome looks pretty much the same as it did before, but yet distinctly different at the same time, so that you can navigate it perfectly clearly. You don't have to have that moment of confusion, which is one of the worst feelings in games, in my opinion, but you can have the, you know, the feeling of, uh, you know, having something new in Minecraft, which is great um, with stuff like the desert, which again, uh, both these biomes here haven't really had any significant changes, but again, you can see how, like, it's very easily noticeable, but it looks new and fresh, and that's that's what this, uh, you know, texture update should be. There's a lot of, uh, you know, changes which are controversial, which people don't like, but at its heart, it can be a good thing if it sticks to stuff like this. I've seen people who said, no, Minecraft should never change, but the truth is, if it changes for the better, that is a good thing. So, one of the things they have actually changed is the birch leaves, which we'll point out right here. They've changed birch leaf and jungle leaves, because before, I, I think, you know, most of the leaves were kind of similar-ish, but I like the way they actually blend into each other a lot. They're different but yeah, they work together at the same time. Again, it's hard to describe, but it means that the birch trees, I really do quite like them right now. Like, again, you can see the birch tree there, which is uh, kind of an odd thing. But, um, you know, the fact that the birch tree is a much more complementary color, I, I like it. It makes this biome in particular, the, you know, birch slash regular, I guess it's just called the forest. But it makes the forest a much more palatable biome. But it's not quite as good as the next change here. This is probably one of my four favorite changes in this entire update, or five, or whatever, uh, because Neverak has changed, and I love the new Lev Neverak. Seriously, look at this new Neverak right here. It looks beautiful. They've changed the ugliest block in the game, which, I mean, honestly, Neverak is just default ugly, into something that's now usable. It's still, you know, a little bit on the, you know, not perfect side, which it's kind of meant to be, because it's the Never. It still looks like a hellscape, but yeah, ag again, it has that thing of, like, being a good block, managing to make the, you know, the hellscape that is the Never, the the, the demonic dimension with gas and stuff, they've made that just as scary, if not scary. I, I would honestly say this is a better job at like getting that hell dimension thing right. But then also it gives you a usable block you can take with you to the other world. So if you want to go to your mushroom biome and you want to craft some stuff, then you'll be able to do that just fine. So I think that's wonderful. I really love the changes to the never. I think that the never is now close to perfect. Because by the way, soul sand has changed too. Uh, there was an issue of the textures and that. They made it a bit more subtle. And again, I feel like in general, uh, you know, the, the last texture pack had a lot of good and a lot of bad. This one, you know, for the most part, seems like a lot of good, uh, positive improvements. At least from my point of view. I mean, obviously everyone's different. Some people must hate this. Um, but, you know, as far as I can tell, I'm loving this. Obsidian has also changed, by the way. So, here's some obsidian. Give it a look. Um, I think the interesting thing about the new obsidian texture is, again, really gets that obsidian feel right. And then better. I, I don't know what... I, again, it's one of these weird things where I know it's not the best objective feedback, but some blocks just have a feel to them that you can't really replicate elsewhere. And this is why um, 
the way they redid, um, by the way, the armor's changed, we'll get into that later, because all of those things have changed. The way they redid all of the em uh, all of the mineral blocks, so there's diamond, there's uh, gold, and there is emerald, they've all been significantly changed. And again, they keep their current feel, while also still looking fresh and new. So if you want to see those things, here is emerald, by the way, here is uh, gold, and here is diamond. So, with the exception of maybe... Um, you know, Emerald, which, I mean, it looks the way it kind of does right now. Uh, you can see how these three blocks have been massively improved, so that they're not, like, again, too jarring. This doesn't look like it's jewels and stuff. It just looks like a diamond block. And I, I like the new mineral blocks. I think they'll fit into Minecraft quite well. Again, maybe not the Emerald. Something about this just doesn't gel well with me. But these two blocks, they look great. And so does the Obsidian. They all kind of capture the essence of the block that exists right now, while still improving it. Again, it's hard to make an improvement on something that people have been playing for so many years. But it seems like it's happened here regardless. So, then we have the Mushroom Biome here, where where, of course, they have changed, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the mushroom blocks. So you can see, slight different uh, tone there. Um, and I know I, I kind of dig that. It's like kind of nice. Also, mushrooms, you can see. Whole biome right here looks a little bit different. But realistically, it's it's hard to spot the changes. Like, I think there's very little going on here that's different. Like, mycelium looks the same. And, you know, maybe that's because they've made changes and they're subtle. But again, that's, that's a good thing, in my opinion. Because the blocks are all slightly better. Like, this brown block is way more usable now. You, <laughs> for some reason, when you pick block mushroom blocks on... Uh, Java edition, you don't get the mushroom block, you get mushroom. Uh, weird, weird thing. I guess it's a glitch, but it's because it's the Java edition, it's not quite a glitch. But still, and my point being is this is a much more usable block now, and that's just a good thing. They've, they've, they've taken blocks without ruining their existing uh, environment. Uh, it looks like their focus now is just on making them more usable outside that environment. So, again, same thing with the jungle here. Uh, the jungle leaves, something about them looks off to me. I couldn't, got, can't describe just what. But again, it's it's not bad. It's not jarring. And it, 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 the biome works for me. I, you'd have to give me your opinion on that one. Because in my opinion, it's just like, something about the jungle leaves are off. Um, it's got to be something to do with the, the way the shapes are cascading. Again, may, uh, it, it, something is very, very different to how it is originally. Maybe it would grow on me right now uh, after some time. But after, the first time I, I look at this, I'm like, ooh, that's, <laughs> that's kind of a crazy one. Because a lot of these I'm, I'm seeing for the first time as we go through. Um, they've also changed the birch log itself. So as we go through a birch forest, as you can see, Birch log is much more of a standout texture or like oh yeah standout like the the little black bits are like blending not blending the opposite of blending like standing <laughs> My terminology is described like textures and blocks again This isn't something I normally do so I feel like so amateurish when I when I try to like describe the feelings But yeah, the the birch log is in general looking pretty good. It stands out. It's clear uh, It's strong and it makes the birch wood look kind of beautiful And it makes you want to use it for a build some way because you can just see the potential in this again more powerful block Again, I'm just using like fancy art terms like you know, I could could be describing modern art of all these things But yeah, so pretty good stuff all in general um, They've made quite a few other changes. So the pumpkins for instance, they've also got some changes They've changed a lot of redstone based blocks. They've changed the ores for example, which we can't necessarily see here Actually wait, I you know, just uh, I, I've never actually properly checked around this map Like if we dig down, let's see if we can find some ore in its natural environment because they've changed granite and andesite too So here's some coal ore as you can see still got that winking face there uh, and then if we can find some andesite and some granite maybe that'd be wonderful too so uh andesite and granite if you don't know they have also changed in this update but yeah looking through this cave it looks very um okay there we go so we got some got some lapis ore got some iron ore here uh it's it's gold ore that we're looking for that's got the significant changes and then also some andesite and granite but you know what we can't find that so what we'll do instead is we'll break up through the barrier blocks uh, maybe through here? No, for some reason they're not around here. Uh, we'll just we'll just place our own ones down because <laughs> I really love seeing things in their natural environment. I feel like that's the best way to really judge a block. But since we can't, here is a gold ore for you. As you can see, distinct difference. It looks way more important than it did before. If I had to give it a thing, like uh, uh, your initial, in my initial impression is just more important than it looked before, which is a good thing because you want it to be that way. Uh, diamond ore. Uh, I'd say similar thing. Like it's got a more darky texture, which is interesting because you can compare that directly something like the iron ore right and the iron ore i i don't know it, it doesn't seem to have the same blend there which is a good I, I don't know how that's working but it definitely gives the feeling of these two blocks being more important maybe they're brighter than they were before it's hard to be certain but then also they've changed granite andesite and uh the, anyway let's, let's just show you one of these as you can see now the blocks are if you didn't like the because before you had the polished versions which were usable and you had the unpolished versions which are basically unusable and i think although uh this one right here diorite is it's probably still in that case. I think uh, andesite and granite in particular, these two blocks are really, really, really quite actually like, again, you could use this in a real build as like a replacement for like bricks or something. And that's good. They're making more 
of the Minecraft blocks, which people consider ugly, to be not ugly. At least not ugly in my opinion. I mean, we'll have to see how people react to that. But yeah, that's great. They're essentially giving us a new building block by giving us back granite, which is a good thing, because obviously uh, polished granite does still exist. And I mean, it's like relatively unchanged, right? Uh, if, if not entirely unchanged. Uh, but the fact they're making regular granite like into its own separate thing, it just kind of yeah, gives you another block from that. So I think that's wonderful. Very little to argue with right there. Uh, looking at ice over here, by the way. Look how wonderful that is. Um, let's talk about another... Actually, you know what? I want to do this so bad. Uh, let's show off TNT. But obviously, the most fun way to show off TNT is not just to, like, place it on the ground and then do that. What we'll do instead is we'll make a huge explosion. And we'll see what the huge explosion looks like with TNT. That's That just strikes me as the best way to do this. So, as you can see, TNT has very much distinctly changed. And if we place some redstone on the TNT... For some reason, that works in Bedrock, but not here. I must have, like... Wait, one sec. <laughs> There we go. So, let's show you TNT as it explodes. Again, this is purely for science. This is a very research-oriented <laughs> thing. And uh, yeah, TNT looks wonderful in this update. I, I actually really do like this TNT. Like, again, it's it's very little that's changed, but it just stands out more. The text stands out. Uh, it looks more vibrantly red. You can It gives you that warning vibe uh, earlier, which is good. So, before we go, uh, because we've shown off all the biomes, there are a few more blocks we haven't quite gone to today, because we're mostly focusing on, like, the biomes and stuff, like how things look in the real Minecraft world. Because that's, that, that's the most important thing, I feel like. We'll show off the structures quickly because there's a few more blocks in, uh, in use in some of these. Because, for instance, uh, again, if we look at the, uh, the, uh, the, sh the fossils, they have the new bone block, for instance. So, as you can see, fossils look, looking kind of good. Like, uh, I, I can't spot too much of a difference from before, but it looks good enough, so sure. Uh, fossils obviously aren't the, uh, the structure which most people care about. But it is something. And then, obviously, again, looking at these structures right here. Same kind of thing where they're looking pretty good from the changes. I, I, by the way, one more, one more mention about how good this uh, Q magnet map is. Again, Q magnet made a pretty cool thing, and I want to just give credit to him one more time because, uh, yeah, it, without that, this video wouldn't be possible in the same form. So yeah, one of the things that actually has changed that I feel like this is the best place to show off is actually um, the red uh, sandstone. So red sandstone, uh, obviously used mostly in um, uh, Mesa biomes, or it's not used there, but uh, red sandstone has changed significantly in this update. And if we can find it, because I'm terrible, you know. <laughs> Sometimes I like, I understand entirely what something is, but in this one it's like, actually, no idea. So if we find some carved red sandstone, you can see how they actually responded directly to a, uh, a request to keep the wither on there. So, again, just a small thing, but it's, it's a nice small thing. So, next up, let's go back to the spawn, which we can do by pressing there, and let's show off all of the combat stuff, because they have actually changed every single, if I'm not mistaken, they've, they changed a few mobs and minecarts and stuff, but the big fo the big thing in my opinion they've changed is they've changed all of the armor. So, let's go to this thing, and you can look at these guys, and you get a real feel for like what's going on with that, and like, oh yeah, that, they have changed, haven't they? So, yeah, uh, as you can see, got a nice little fight going on, shows off the the way this whole thing looks. But the big changes in this update are not just to do with like, oh yeah, look, Leverom looks different. I'd say the biggest changes are the fact that the sword, I mean, look at them. Uh, but the, the, the armor now has changed to look way more icon-like. Like, so, honestly, my original, my, my initial impression to the armor was I didn't like it. But again, we have to talk about individual stuff here, which is where it's like a little bit harder. But if you look at the armor um, in a slot, or if you look at the armor individually, like, so not in the thing. Like, if you just pick up some leggings, you can instantly tell that's leggings, that's a ch chest plate. And I really like that personally, because the chest plate is kind of an ugly block in my, you know, vanilla Minecraft as it is right now. Whereas uh, these more, these icons are much more representative and easy to spot. Like, the boots, again, it's it's hard to say why, but it's a much easier to spot texture. And that's that's just a good thing in Minecraft, right? That has to be a good change. Uh, so yeah, really big fan of the armor changes, big fan of all the, uh, of, of the sword change, personally. I think uh, it's a little bit more tame than it was before. Uh, again, it looks so similar to how it does already, but like, again, tiny, tiny change. Um, or maybe I'm imagining it, but <laughs> I'm like 99% sure they made a change there. Uh, well, they said they made a change, but I'm 99% sure I can see it at least. Uh, they said they made changes to the tools as well. Again, I don't see all of those, but it is something they said they have done. They made changes to the fish, which is, as you can see, uh, fairly distinct. That's kind of important for the update aquatic, so maybe hinting this will be coming out in 1.13. They made changes to stuff like carrots as well, which just while we're here, like, look at carrots, aren't they lovely? Um, and, and then the, the oddest one on this list is the fact that they made changes um, so as well as uh, to the bars, by the way. So look at the ingots. They look so different. But look at the uh, Disc 11. They said they made a change to that for the first time. Also, whoa, look at those boats. It's Sorry, it's been a while. Like everything, er, this looks like a texture pack. All of these blocks together. Like I can see them, but they're all a bit like, they're really shaded and they've got like extra stuff like that. It's a bit harder to see what's what. Although the, the saddle actually looks curved now, so that's nice. But yeah, let's go all the way to um, the miscellaneous section where 
I, I don't know what the equivalent of miscellaneous actually is on the PC. <laughs> it's always so embarrassing when I'm like, actually, I thought I knew what was going on, but as it turns out, the sections are different. But they changed disc 11, they gave it its own little thing, and uh, this is one of the most interesting ones to me. It's just like, you know, it's one you probably won't notice, but it does in fact look more like a cracked disc, with a little piece missing that somehow spins with the rest of it. But let's not question that, let's instead just say, this update, I think, makes the texture update from going like, let's let's make up numbers here, because again, I like to talk empirical evidence. By the way, here's one more look at this, a good way to see it all in one place. Let's talk empirical evidence, uh, or empirical, empirical? I don't know if that's the right word here, but let's talk like hard numbers of some form, so I can try and describe my feelings. If before we had a, you know, like a texture change that was going to be like a, a 65 out of 100, I'd say we've gone up solidly to like, 79 out of 100 or 80 out of 100 or you know the, the the textures are like most of the way there to being useful in regular minecraft i'd say there's still something a tiny bit wrong I, again putting my finger on exactly what it would be i would say there's some things like this where i mean they're shaded in and that makes them look fancy but then when they're all together there's just something a bit off about these icons for instance like again i like all of the armor icons they make it a more clear instantly spotable uh, icon. I feel like if you can update changes as well as making them better, they also have to be the same difficulty to see or the, or you know, or easy to see. And I feel like that's not necessarily the case with something like the saddle. Like it takes a, a moment for that's clicking my brain. It's, uh, there's, there's a lot of games like this actually where it, you, you, you don't even like, or at least for me, I don't even register what something is. I registered that as being like, oh, that's the orange thing that's the saddle. And that's what that was for me until I was like, oh, it's curved. That's why it's a saddle. Um, and there's a few things like that I feel like they still have to like go through in this update, but for the most part, every block easily spotted, easily understandable. Uh, in fact, they're even doing great things of like making the blocks better. Look, they they make granite better than it was before. Um, and although they've got work to do on the blocks that you know still have to be like quite perfected, I am happy with how it is right now. Uh, but I'd love to hear hear your opinions down below, uh, and I'll send this video to Japper and or, <laughs> or Chasper, but he, he's Japper on Twitter, so apparently that's an acceptable nickname. And uh, with all your comments down below, so that those are maybe of use to him as well. Because again, uh, I, what I really like about the way they're doing this is that the uh, you know the developer behind it or the artist behind it. I don't know if that counts as developer, but the, the artist slash developer behind it uh, has actually been like every step of the way asking for feedback from, you know, the, the Minecraft community, which is, yeah, that's kind of cool, right? So, yeah, um, this is the uh, this is the world. This is, sorry, this is the new textures. I think it looks pretty cool. Love to know your opinions. But for now, I guess I'll see you all next time. Have a nice day, and I'll see you tomorrow.